Lift off of the Falcon 9 to the space station. SpaceX has been carrying equipment and supplies to the International Space Station since 2012. NASA now hopes the company, along with its competitor Boeing, can begin taking humans into orbit as early as this year. NASA has placed its bet on Boeing and SpaceX. And now it's time for them to roll the dice and see what happens. Pushing the Crew Dragon off the pad. SpaceX hopes to launch its Crew Dragon capsule on an unmanned test mission in March. Boeing will follow with its Starliner spacecraft as early as April. If you're not finding it, go higher. The launchers will be scrutinized closely by NASA, which has contracted SpaceX and Boeing to fly astronauts to the International Space Station. After their initial tests, both companies will have to carry out additional tests to make sure they can safely abort a launch if things go wrong. SpaceX has suffered a series of setbacks in the past, including the loss of a rocket during launch. The argument that the private sector gives is that we can do it faster and cheaper, but faster and cheaper may be more hazardous. Failure is not an option when you're talking about crew, but failure is always a possibility. DM-1 is scheduled to launch this year. Despite the risk, space journalist Brendan Byrne says a failed launch for Russia's Soyuz rocket in November has prompted urgency at NASA to resume U.S. flights. That's what this test mission is for, is to go ahead and prove that this technology works um, and that NASA's confident that there will be no risk to a crew in the future. Also looming large over the mission, another potential government shutdown. The vast majority of NASA's staff was furloughed during the 35-day government shutdown, which impacted operations at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, where Boeing and SpaceX will test their crew vehicles. The state agency responsible for boosting commercial space investment is calling for the government to scale back its involvement in managing America's launch infrastructure. Space Florida says government shutdown uncertainty makes space travel less attractive to the private industry. Right now they are at the mercy of political food fights in Congress, and that's a terrible business model. But for now, preparations continue. SpaceX plans to launch its first manned mission as early as July, with Boeing set to follow suit as soon as August. Steve Moore, CGTN, Cape Canaveral.